Now, listen, you guys, Nikki Minaj went on live with Miss Deb, okay? And I just have to tell you that, well, Nikki is out there during her D swinging mod. And at this point, she's playing chess, as Ashley would say, with the Transformer. Now, we're also going to be talking about Bongo 2's fans already coming up with excuses. Very predictable. Some bubs even made them a wheel of excuses or, and or that's what they're using obviously and uh, we're also going to be talking about paprika spice her performance a new choreography as well as hey teasing a new song now these are some of the things that we are going to be talking about in this video hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you are doing great personally i am doing great you guys i am doing extremely amazing and uh without further ado let us dive straight into today's tea. So, first of all, Nicki Minaj went on live last night with Deb, all right? Now, the last time that we spoke about the two of them, it seemingly was tension between the two of them and uh, because of that entire low Kim situation. So, obviously, seeing them two together um, was heartwarming to see that, well, it seems like Deb still has got her job. <laughs> and, um, well, in that same live, she also did say that, well, Deb is like a mother to me. And Deb said, industry mother. And and then she said, no, not industry mother. You're like a second mother to me. And I guess that just goes to show that their relationship is probably tighter than we may imagine. And uh, that she considers Deb as family. OK, now here's the thing, you guys. I have realized that people don't like direct people. People don't like people who are bold enough to say, you know what, what you did here, I don't like it. Because automatically they label you as like you're a mean person or you're unlikable or you're this. They'd rather have somebody who you can continuously offend and they won't say a word to you, but will go to the next available person to say, oh, well, this person actually annoyed me you know and that's just the reality of how it is it cannot be changed that's how a lot of people are like they'd rather have a person who does not make their boundaries clear but who go around you know talking about you behind your back they would rather have a, some like a person like like that even i myself i've seen it and i've i've seen that you know what a lot of people that really don't like me a lot of people that have got issues with me don't want to be held accountable for anything you know like they do something goofy they want me to be like it's okay. And then go to the next person crying and saying, oh, well, they did this to me. And you guys, honestly, sometimes it's very frustrating because I, why can't I just tell you that, like, you know, you annoyed me. That doesn't mean that I don't love you. We move on to the next thing. You know, you I didn't like this part of what you did, did blah, 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 blah. And then we move on. OK, it doesn't mean that I don't love you anymore. It just means that I'm letting you know not to do it next time. And I feel like that's the situation with Nikki. She tells you, I don't like this. You take it the wrong way. You label her mean that it is what it is. You have lost probably the most genuine person that um, you could ever have. Because personally, I would rather have um, a friend like Nikki Minaj than somebody who's trying to be liked. I, that's just me. And I think I've had a friend like that once ever in my life and they're still in my life and everybody up to now does not understand you know it's a situation where we have similar personalities okay they say that she's too brutal she's too frank she's too that and they say the same about me but so people like when i initially started to hang with this person were like oh my god um how do you guys get along they are going to fall out soon but it's been years and we're still tight af okay but uh yeah let me know in the comment section what you think about Nicki Minaj and this perceived personality that uh, you know people have about her okay now uh speaking about her she also said that she is going to be doing new pop songs okay and uh she did play that song by his uh by hey and uh david um that was not released and it's a very nice song okay you can tell that pop really is her zone she, it can be her zone if she wants to and uh, she was like oh well i'm just contemplating on if i should release more pop songs and things like that and i looked at that and i'm like oh nika now you're just swinging your d okay if you guys don't understand what's happening with that entire situation that is nikki swinging her d at somebody okay because we do know that recently somebody came out there talking about oh i'm gonna do pop um you know with these vocals that we were like whose vocals are they 
okay and so this is nikki just having fun right now after <laughs> after doing pink friday 2 album and seeing how successful it was being on tour and seeing you know how successful the tour is she's just in a playing zone she's just literally showing this girl that oh well do you want to play she's messing with the transformers mind <laughs> that's what she's doing right now and knowing the transformer right now just because of that snippet that Nicki Minaj played and her saying that I'm gonna release more pop songs she's probably trembling and shaking and you know trying to question herself second guessing herself you know am I gonna be able to outdo her because you know that she set that standard for herself okay there's nobody to blame there you set the standard for yourself if you fail to meet it of course we'll hold you accountable because you told us that your records live in the top 10 so we didn't say it you said it so I when I look at her doing that I'm just like Nikki Minaj don't be that don't don't do that to the girl okay she's it's it's hectic as it is for her watching you win like that and so when you come out here and pull out your d and you decide to swing it on her she will faint don't do that okay <laughs> let me know you guys in the comment section what you think about that would you be here for some Nikki pop songs and at this point I don't even know if Nikki Minaj needs to release that second um you know album that she said she has in in stock because seeing how these girls um, you know, are flopping even, you know, with their booted selves. Um, it's clear that, you know, they, they, they couldn't even take her out, you know. And I do know that these uh, numbers that are coming in for the Transformers, some may think that, well, she's celebrating because people were saying that, well, um, you know, Bongo 2 is taking a place. But um, contrary to that, I, I feel like these numbers actually um, have gotten a shook because she has realized how it's very possible to have a lot of backing and still be not able to sell so i feel like this is a situation where she's like oh well at least she didn't surpass me and then a situation where she's also like oh if it can get this bad is my album going to do you know good you know so yeah at this point the transformer really you guys this is just a traumatic woman for her okay because yeah it's mixed feelings for her that being said i feel like at this point if they want somebody to take out Nicki minaj they could form like a girl group it could be the all the female rappers versus Nicki minaj i think that would interest me than having these one one people because Nicki already said that well if you're gonna do it um in a fair if we're gonna compete fair and square you will not win unless you cheat she said those words she said if you the only way to beat me is if you cheat because if you place fair i promise you you will not beat me and that's exactly what has been proven at this point all right even with the cheating here we are with sixty four thousand um in a units first week and uh 15k pure sales so that's exactly what the One Katanya Mirage was saying. So like if we have all those record labels, if they are listening, have all the girls gather together in a girl group, you know, all 20 of them, include even the Stana girls, include the, the Asian dolls, include the, the cash dolls, include all the other dolls that you can get in female rap and form a, a, a rap group, okay? And then you say that, well, we're going to see if they are going to outstream Onika. I promise you, the bar will still be here for, for that. They would still... <laughs> <laughs> stand 10 toes down against Nicki Minaj and because that's the only way you guys are going to beat her or take her out even gather like the, the the guys from the ancient times gather them all like all of them gather them the mumbling and cackling the um, Lil Kim the um, gather all of them up you know and form a girl group old times meet um you know new times because you're mixing old stars and you know new stars and then just have them go against Nicki Minaj maybe then we can be entertained because with this we are tired of seeing Nicki Minaj winning because it's like playing a game that's already you know decided you know <laughs> Let me know you guys in the comment section or what you think about that. I will insert that Nicki Minaj live video that she did with Deb, okay? Now, moving on to the next thing that we are going to talk about. Bongo 2's fans have already started. Now, somebody, a bab somewhere made a wheel of excuses. Um, and they were like, oh, well, these are going to be their excuses. And uh, boy, oh boy, were they not right. I think amongst the excuses, there was the excuse that, well, she's independent. And somebody said something like, oh, she didn't have promo or something like that. And I'm just like, oh my God, when are you going to stop, okay? When you guys were out there on Twitter saying that, well, her album is going to end Nicki Minaj, you hadn't thought that, well, your 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 your, your artist is, is fake independent. You didn't think about that. 
because they're coming with all the excuses they're like oh well it, it's it's um what girl publications so it should and i'm just looking at them like why why guys do you set yourself up for this disaster you did this yourself you had this girl you know when she was doing it to yourself and now you're coming in with excuses like it's literally um it's always the same thing okay it is always the same thing um it never fails it's the same thing it's the same excuses the same cycle um talk big swing d and then when the time to be accountable for for you swinging your d comes then act daft and 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 you know start saying oh she's independent or oh, she's that um yeah i'm not having it even those of you who want to come in the comment section saying oh well for an artist like megan no 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 we are not doing that you guys said that she was on the same level with Nicki minaj so with the same standards that we hold Nicki minaj so shall we hold bongo too that's exactly what we're going to do it's not us who put her on that place it's you guys who put it on that place saying that the tour was going to come and end Nicki Minaj's tour, saying that her album was going to come and end Nicki Minaj's album. So, yes, let's have it. Let's have the conversation now. Why are goalposts shifting? And some, some people are like, oh, Bubs are always waiting, obsessed with other, you know, artists and things like And I'm like, no, that goes boys both ways. Don't, don't try and lie, okay? Because we can definitely pull out, um, you know, tweets from other fan bases dragging Nicki Minaj for a Pink Friday too. And for any and every single little silly thing that you can think about. So it's not about the Bob situation because people always want to get an out by saying, oh, the Bob's this. And some even think that calling someone a Bob is an insult. And I'm like, are you mad? Are you mad? You, you're trying to like shame someone for being a fan for somebody who was out there for years telling us to keep to, to stay in school. That, <laughs> And you want to clown us for that over you being a clown of someone who teaches you nothing but to twerk and bad grammar. I mean, for a non-English speaking my, like person like myself, I'd rather have somebody with good grammar telling me to actually go to school because at least that way I learn English. And then I also learn that, you know, school is important. What do you learn from your favorites besides shaking their behind and is the mic is on? <laughs> i don't know why i big this mess you guys but you know what let us move on to the next thing that we're going to be talking about you guys paprika spines previewed some new song and it's about her cheating or something like that and it's drill she's back to drill and she's not shouting on the song ah shout out to her for not shouting you guys that's absolutely amazing uh because lately her drill songs it has been shouting over a bit and i'm like riot are you trying to set this girl up okay and now she's talking about cheating a guy cheating did you cheat on her and probably that's why she's now moving around roaming around and about with central c is that the situation <laughs> yeah let me know you guys in the comment section did you hear the new paprika spice and what do you think about that and did you see that little choreography that she has oh that was cute that was cute uh but my only worry is when she was rapping and she was standing nobody was flinching nobody was making a sound people just started making sounds when she started shaking her behind and it said and she was also wearing a very sad face when she was twerking i think i I saw it on somebody's twitter page um you know she was really putting in her all oh, shaking that behind but her face really looked like she wasn't into the twerk and this is exactly why it sucks to be to have the twerking as the main highlight of your um you know of your of your of your, of your performance because now you're gonna have to do it even if you don't feel like doing it Oh my god so yeah i'm gonna insert deb's live with Nicki minaj you guys thank you very much for coming to hang with me now i've gotta go remember what i told you that today is gonna be quite a busy day with me um for me if i do happen to post another video that's that if i fail to i hope you guys understand me um and until my next one see you Dab, you like my outfit, you said? Yeah, I think mm. it's cute. I love that. Don't slap me, thank you. Oh. Oh. I said don't slap me, boo boo. I love that. The colors are nice, too. I'll get you one, okay? Come on, please get my auntie, dad. Uh, not even, I can't even say auntie. My mama. Mm. My other mama. Industry mother. No. It's not the industry. Um,
God. Oh, Suda called, said, hey, Deb, girl. Hey, sweetie. Ch you know who that is? Oh. <laughs> I want to say that, um, that I, would, I just want to say thank you to Vienna, Austria, for the just the warm welcome and, and showing so much love. You know, I, I you never know what's going to happen um, because people forget a lot of times that these are some tough crowds, you know, with, with the festivals. They're not, you know, when, once it's a, you know what I'm saying? Like if it's a Nicki Minaj tour or a show, that's different. But when you're doing festivals, it's a bunch of different artists on the bill. And um, people forget you still have to impress them because you don't know if they're your fan or if they ain't your fan, you, you know? So um, I was about to keep this, trying to be funny, about to keep this stupid hood on my head the whole time and forgot. Um, so so um, I just want to thank Gag City Vienna. Hi, Courtney. Um... I know South Africa. I got it. I'm trying. We're going to figure it out. Um, but anyway, I want to say to Vienna, Austria, uh, and to Rolling Loud, thank you for having me once again, to Rolling Loud for having me. But to Vienna, Austria, you guys were so amazing. Like when Starships came out, well, we started playing, that's when I knew the kind of crowd they were. Because... Um, you should have seen, like, how they were, like, they were doing circles, like, in the crowd and just having their own moments. And it was, it made me feel like, oh, my gosh, you know, maybe I should make a couple more pop songs. Ow, now. Play the um, other one we had with, with, Get, with David Guetta a little real quick at the beginning of it. I did this song with David Guetta. I mean, not... All right, Lisa, my day, I'm going to say hi for Kimo, baby. Okay, you guys, I love you. I'm wishing you all the best. Keep us in your prayers. And just know we appreciate you for real. We appreciate you for real. We love you for real. It's been a long time. Um, Heavy you on it. Take, we got some work to do. Let's get it. Um, and that was a five-year-old song I think I just played. And wow. you like, and David Guetta had put like his own spin on it. And I remember around that time I had demo itis, and I was like, nah, nah, nah. But now when I listen to it, he was right. So I'm pretty sure I would now add like if I did use it, I would add a rap, and I would, um, and I'm sure he would want to even make a little bit more um, <sighs> changes to the beat, probably. But Melia sounds was good. Oh, Florida said it doesn't sound five years old. I know. Oh, Nigerian Bobby's. I know, baby, but who you telling, honey? Chad. All right, Lisa, my day, I'm going to say hi for Kimo, baby. Okay, you guys, I love you. I'm wishing you all the best. Keep us in your prayers. And just know we appreciate you for real. We appreciate you for real. We love you for real. It's been a long time. Um, heavy you on it. Take, we got some work to do. Let's get it. Um, and that was a five year old song I think I just played. And wow. you like, and David Guetta had put like his own spin on it. And I remember around that time I had demo itis and I was like, nah, nah, nah. But now when I listen to it, he was right. So I'm pretty sure I would now add, like, if I did use it, I would add a rap. And I would, um, and I'm sure he would want to even make a little bit more um, <sighs> changes to the beat, probably. But Melia sounds was good. Oh, Florida said it doesn't sound five years old. 